today's how-to video is going to be how to get to your boat. We are heading back to the Azores and we are going now. What needs to get to the boat? Like you are here and your boat is somewhere way over there. What needs to go? What do you have to do? If you're close and you're just driving, it's just a matter of load your car up, off you go to the boat. If you're really far like we are, like we are an ocean away from our home. That's a long ways to go. So that means we're gonna be driving, we're gonna be flying, and flying, flying. Getting to the boat, that means that we need to get through security, that means that we need to be presentable, acceptable, all these things, which can be tricky when you're working on your boat. One of the big things, you need to get tools to the boat if you're working on your boat. Tools and airplanes and security they don't go together. So pretty much, if you are carrying something that looks like you could take the plane apart with what you have, you can't take it on a plane because they don't want you taking the plane apart. And if you try and explain, no, it's because I'm working on my boat and this and that, that sounds like a fake story. They're not gonna believe you. You're not, it's not gonna happen. So don't do that. Big things, circular saws, drills, all sorts of stuff that looks scary to someone who's worried that you're gonna take the plane apart, mail it. Do not take it with you. You can check it, but if you check it, that sucker's gonna get bashed around and it might break in the process and then you have no drill. So, best bet, mail the sucker. Other things that you can take on the plane because they don't look scary, they're gonna make you look really suspicious. So right now, my carry-on bag looks weird and I'm really hoping that I get to keep it all. I have a whole bunch of foam, a whole bunch of fiberglass, that's really weird. The resin's already on the boat, so I don't have to worry about liquids, but liquids are an issue. If you're taking wood glue, resin, stuff like that, you're not gonna, because I, they only let you take those little tiny things, and that's not enough to work on a boat. You need to plan what you need to have, mail the stuff that's sketchy, mail the stuff that's weird, only take what's dry and not too odd looking. So, you might be wondering, what about your clothes? And clothes. Wear what you're gonna be wearing a lot. You're gonna pack all your stuff in there. What's left over, that's the space you have for your clothes. So if you don't have any space left, ha ha, <laughs> you have no space left. So too bad. You just wanna make sure everything you have, you're gonna have one checked bag, one carry-on bag. And you wanna keep them separate. And then some airlines allow you one personal item. So that's three bags that you get to get, get to take. So one is checked, so you can put stuff that you can't really take on the plane with you in your checked bag. That'll pass. Then, and that'll be things with lots of liquids, like wood glue, resin, stuff like that. You can't take solvents, you can't take anything flammable, nothing explosive, like that huge laundry list of stuff that you can't take, that really matters, because you can't take that. In your carry-on bag, dry stuff, so, but you have to keep the weight down. Fiberglass, cloths, glass mat, stuff like that you can take. You can also take foam coring. You can take some wood, but you have to be careful with the weight. And some random tools, as long as it doesn't look really weird. Uh, I'm also taking boxes of gloves and masks, which I hope that when they combine that and the fiberglass and the foam core, they don't look at me and say, what are you doing? And not let me through with these things because I need these things. So that's that's your stuff. And then your personal item, honestly, that's probably where you're gonna put your clothes because that's all the space you had left. Plan, 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 figure out what you need, get everything out and then put it in your suitcases. And then at the end of it, you're going to have a ton left over that doesn't fit. And that you're gonna mail. Put in a box, ship it. Now, when you're shipping it, you're gonna have a couple issues. So this is the big one for us. Going from the US to Portugal, customs. So do not pay for the rushed expedited shipping because it's gonna get to the Portuguese customs agent. It's gonna sit for about two weeks. So you rush and pay a ton of money to get there in time. It's gonna sit there for a long time. Comes in the slow boat, still sits there. So you're gonna get your stuff, it's just gonna take a while. So you gotta plan and mail your stuff way in advance. Now if you can get discounts online and have it shipped from a European place, like if you're shopping from Amazon, shop from Amazon in Europe and have it fulfilled 
from Europe and then it's intra euro and you don't get hit with the taxes. I hear, I haven't done that yet. If you're shipping from the US to there, prepare for the taxes. It's gonna happen. You're gonna have to deal with it. So that is how to travel to your boat when it's really far away and you're taking stuff. And the reason we're doing all this is because we are refitting the head and the galley as well as repainting the entire deck, top sides, just so many projects. So to do these projects, we need all these materials. So I got a whole bunch of foam coring, which came as a four foot by four foot sheet. It was massive and I've cut it down to make it fit inside my suitcase. And then we got fiberglass, chop strand mat, like all these different things because we're gonna be glassing the head back together as soon as we get there, taking care of some rod issues. And then after we're done there, we're moving on and we're gonna tackle the galley where we're building a butcher block countertop. All this work is really awesome. It looks cool, but it's a lot of work. We need materials and here's the big thing. It's metric over there, all metric. I could adapt, I probably should adapt, but I, I, I didn't. So I got all the tools I could possibly need here and I'm mailing them because they are inches. And that's just, what I'm doing. When you're doing it that way, which is kind of weird, and now that I think about it, it's pretty odd. When you're doing it that way, make sure that you have all the tools you need because if you need another tool, it's gonna be a long time shipping. So have everything, have spares, have stuff you think you might need, stuff you know you won't need, but you probably might, and you'll end up needing it, have it. It's gonna be a really awesome refit project. We're gonna be showing you guys all the way through. So enjoy, stay tuned, subscribe, that way you can see as the next thing comes out because it's an adventure. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.